2D schematics, either in electrical or piping, has been a capability of Solid Edge for a number of years and is also a component of the free 2D version. With the introduction of the electrical component of Solid Edge in Solid Edge 2019, it just seems pertinent to introduce this again to some of those users who may not re really know that this capability is here. So looking at um, the fundamentals of schematics, we tend to use blocks which um, can either be created in Solid Edge 2D or can be retrieved from existing DWG libraries and converted on the fly. And they are used in conjunction with connectors and um, the whole thing is parametric. So you can see we have jumps and stuff. And if we click on a line or a connector, um, you'll see that we can um, adjust these through these control points and the connection stays, stays with it. So I'm going to start off by showing you how to create a block. If we look at this, this component here, um, we'll see that rather than being a single select, it's a series of lines, arts, shading, and so on. So before I start, I'm going to just turn on the grid, and I'll also turn on the snap to grid, and also point out that um, any of these existing blocks on the drawing are shown here in the um, show block window. So under active block, it's given me a list of all the blocks that are stored within this existing file. And just like in the parts list or parts library in the assembly environment, you can click on any one of these and it will show you a preview and you can just drag it into the window when you want to place it. You'll also find in the sort of program files, um, solid edge version, a folder called sample blocks. And um, for this case, it's electrical. So I'm just looking at the electrical um, version. And you'll see a number of different draft files in here. So if we click on any one of these, it will also show in the blocks window down the bottom here. And you can click on any one of these and, and use these as well. So even if this was a DWG file, it will still show you the blocks within that file and you can just drag them in and it will convert it on the fly. So as I said, I'm going to create a block from this. So if we click on the drop down, we'll go um, great block. First step is to select the geometry. So we'll just do a fence selection. Accept that. Second step is to define the origin. So I'm going to work off this terminal point here. And then the last step is to give it a name. So we'll call this a um, break switch. And because it is a switch, I'm going to want to show it in one of two different formats. One will be open, one will be closed. So for this option, I'm going to turn off the place of currents and it's just going to leave the geometry as is. So we'll accept that. And if I just go back to the select command, you'll see that everything is still as it was. And also in our list, you'll see that we have a break switch listed over here in our block library. So to show this in a different format, I'm going to go to the stretch command. Do a fence selection on the button, and then I can just sort of um, move that into a new position. Um, so you can graphically see that it is a different sort of variation on the same part block. So now coming from here, I can right mouse click and go add block view. So this gives me the ability to have the same block, but in a different variant view. So again, we're going through the create block commands. So fence select, right mouse click to accept it. 
defining our terminal point in the same spot. And for this one, we'll just call it close because this is the name of the view. So once we've placed that, you'll see that over here in our block library, um, we've got break switch with a view one or closed. So if I come over here, I can right mouse click and rename, and you'll call that one open, and then hit enter. Um, so now if I place that into the library, sorry, into the drawing, um, you'll see that we can position it where we need to. And clicking on, on this, you'll see that um, we have the view options here so we can go between open and closed at any time. Okay, so now we've created our um, block. Um, I'm going to just look at working a little bit more with existing blocks and connectors. So as you can see, we're missing a matching left rear um, signal. So you can see that the block name is signal R. So using the active document, it should be in this list somewhere. So there's my signal R, I can just drag that into the drawing. And as you can see from up here, they are opposites. So I can hit the A key or the S key to rotate that around to get the orientation that I wish. So once I've placed it, I can right mouse click and start again. So now moving into connectors, you can see that there are um, multiple different options on here. Um, I want both the start and end to be blank and you can change the line color and style just in any normal line scenarios. And I'm going to start by using the step command to link from here to here. So you can see that key point snaps are still active. Um, step is not going to give me what I'm after to get into here, so I'll just switch that to a corner. And it's given me the wrong orientation, so I can either um, flip it from here or hit the F key to flip and get my connection dropping in there okay. I will also use a step connector to join between here and um, I'm going to connect up to this line on here. Um, so I'll put a dot on the end just to sort of clarify that that is going to be um, connected to this line in here. Again, I will change back to a corner and I'm going to connect this one to this one. So I'll start with a corner relationship. And because it's going over a number of other ones, we can change that to a jump. Don't worry about getting the jump to line up at this stage. And then finally we'll go back to the corner. And again, we can just drop that onto the block. So one other that we want to put in is we want to put in a, um, another ground here, so I can click on that one. If I hold the control key down, I can just drag and create a new one. Um, so I can just drop that into place and then I will use the connector once again <clears throat> to um, again do a step. So to start off with, um, I'm just going to place it like so and then if I come out of the command notice that that shouldn't have had the dot on the end so I can change that back and just drag that and drop it down onto the block to create the item that I need. So again um, using the black dot I can connect it to this connector here and you'll notice that it um, highlights 
and um, this one looks already in place but I will just double check to make sure that it does actually recognize the um, line I'm not picking it up because I've got locked coordinates on there so if you look at the colors uh, maybe you can just about see um, on a connector black is the middle one gray is the end and the teal color is the beginning um, if you move the beginning one it's gonna detach from where it is but um, like if I pick on here and move this you'll see that it's it's actually maintaining that jump on that thing because um, we built that into place so hopefully this gives you a good basic understanding of how schematics will work in the free solid edge 2d